I thought you guys might find this amusing as us classic car people are used to a gearbox particularly us English people in England most of our cars have three pedals and a gear lever America of course doesn't in England the only people that had automatics were old people however I thought that was funny so I thought I'd just chuck it in whilst I prattle on um, the next clip you see is the block drain cock which I know you saw in a previous video um, and I just wanted to show you how precise the fit is and also show you that it really does work hopefully you will find it of enjoyment let's go see now here's something you won't get from china precision fit i filled this tap full of cellulose thinners and any of you that know hang on a second let me see if i can hang on all right hopefully you can still see that know that cellulose thinners will creep its way through but it has not i mean it's it's perfect there's, there's nothing this is a precision fit in here that i was showing you so now i'll open the valve he says ha ha hmm on, look at that absolutely perfect precision fit I don't know where these are made it says ooh on it or, or rather ew EW um, I don't know whether that's British English uh, German whatever however what I can tell you is whoever made this for Jaguar back in the 60s and probably before then did a fucking good job of precision machining and obviously with the little spring here and the washer and everything it holds it good and tight now that's engineering that's craftsmanship not like the crap we get from china damn it i forgot to inspect my brother before he left the screwdriver missing that one there i've got on the bench <clears throat> This one's missing. I'm going to have to shoot him, aren't I? Gosh darn. <coughs> yes, I'm being silly in case any of you think I'm being serious. Right. Why do I have to say that? I shouldn't have to. My brother and I are idiots. We always do shit together. And we're stupid too. Right. This panel went out. I will fit this panel. He deserted me before he completed his task. I should just have to dock his pay, I guess. So, yep, I gotta get that now fitted into the boot. To boot. It does look rather splendid, doesn't it? Good job, brother. Good job. I take back something of what I've said about you. Not all, because otherwise you'll get big headed. All right, uh, so let me get this in. <laughs> yes, it was my brother's accomplice. He hid the screwdriver on a shelf in plain sight. I think him and his brother worked together to collect tools, but I caught him. Shit, it's me. Well, folks, another problem. Hopefully, body people are going to sort out for me. As you can see, that gap is quite horrendous there. So the frame needs to come back. Unfortunately, it can't because this part of the chrome is hitting the door. So it can't come back anymore. Now, when I took this to the body shop, I gave them the frames and said, please make sure everything fits. Well, I have that problem. I also have this problem here where this hits that one I might might be able to cure sorry I'm balancing myself on the edge of the ramp here um, whoops 
What's going on here? Right, by modifying this, but what it is, is I'm modifying it. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work with the camera. This, by trimming some of this out here. Which may be what I'll have to do. Um, the owner of the business is coming out to see me. Oops, sorry, I'm spinning the gimbal round, it gets upset. Um, hang on, I'm climbing down. Ah, sorry, you really didn't need to know all of that, but anyway. Um, so yes, the owner of the business is coming out to see me. And uh, then I'll be able to show him. And I'll see what he says. Now, he's been extremely good in the past, sorting out problems. I mean, it's not a major job for them, but of course it may mean they'll have to respray a couple of doors. But at the moment, the car is not drivable. Um, right, other things here. Hmm. Can't come back out any further. Sorry, guys. Let's try. <laughs> Trying to get you sorted. There, that, that panel is now in. Now that's the other uh, boot panel. The only thing that I don't like is that the edges are not red. I'm going to have to figure out how best I can do that. Um, I mean, we did spray it, but of course, as it's the edge and it's cardboard, it soaks it in. Also, I've noted that uh, certain areas on the edge of the boot um, where these panels meet are not painted now yeah, you see here it's not painted no that's not acceptable so I'm gonna to have to go around with my little touch-up brush and, and uh, deal with that but that's okay um, I mean I really wasn't worried um, because of the seal going on but the seal sits in here it doesn't cover this but I can just touch this up with uh, the paint I've got. That's not a problem. Um, I'm not upset with the body shop for that. I said spray the boot, they sprayed the boot. Fuck me, they even did the underside of the boot lid. You see, which surprised the heck out of me, yeah. Look at that, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a bit that's never gonna be seen and look how fucking brilliant it is. So yeah, I'm really not jumping up and down on the, on the body shop and being upset. Um, I'm hoping that they're going to resolve the uh, issue I have. That will be a future video. Okay, next is going to be the brackets for the condenser. So that I can move on to that. Got to get the condenser mounted. Got to drill the holes in the body um, so that I can get the pipes through. These two brackets are obviously are totally different and that's not how they're going to be. I just happen to have a piece of wood, this a piece of wood. Yes, this piece of wood here. Um, two pieces of metal and I just bent them quickly to try and get the, the right sort of angle. And then it's going to be trial fit, make up more brackets. And you know how I am. I make up a lot of brackets. I'm not hinging bracket. Ah, where are they from? <laughs> think about that one. Oh, and the other thing I'll fit this in the radiator, but I've got to get a fiber washer So I have to go down to my local hardware store and get a fiber washer. That's that diameter Just one washer and the, the copper washer that's on there um, That just gives it a little more surface area to uh, to tighten up Okay, and there it is all pretty with its nice new clipping Yeah so let's uh, go down to the hardware shop and get that and uh, see what else I've got to do. Gosh, so many things, huh, guys? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I told you. You know, I bought a new oil pressure sensor. Guess what I found in my spares? Oil pressure sensor. A few hundred bucks there. Well, actually, I think it's about 180. Fucking ridiculous, isn't it? So guys, if you want one, I've probably got a spare. And I'll tell you what, I don't think that's the problem. I need to get a proper pressure gauge. Oh, there's my punch. <sighs> I'd lost that too. Jesus Christ. Okay, enough prattling. Get in the garage, go do some shit.